Hi, I'm Tom Dalton, host of the Emmy award-winning PBS television program, Under the Radar Michigan, where every week we show you the cool people, places, and things that make Michigan such a great place to be. Now this coming May, the National Main Street Conference is going to be right here in the Motor City. So it's my job, actually it's my duty, to show you some of the amazing things that are happening in Detroit and Southeast Michigan. So take a look at this. Tom Dalton, danger seeker, troubleshooter, investigative reporter. You know there's a lie being perpetrated that there's no good grocery stores in the city of Detroit. That's not true. I know this because my director, Jim, is a huge foodie. Well, actually, he's regular size, but he's really into food, and he knows good food, and he found a place for us to shop in Detroit that has incredible stuff. That's right. If you're looking for a first-class grocery shopping experience, you actually have to come to Detroit, not leave it, because the Honey Bee Market in Mexican Village is all that, and then some. Wow, what an awesome, oh, guacamole. <laughs> I love guacamole. Not counting the guacamole, the first thing that hits you here is how well put together it is. The selection is truly international, and if you can't find something, help is never far away. You can tell that owners Tammy and Ken Kohler have a ton of pride in this market. The crew is always teasing me because every time we go someplace, I'm always, this is the best I've ever had. This is the nicest I've ever seen. But I, I'm being completely honest. When I walked in here, I was totally struck with, I've never seen a, a grocery store as clean or as well organized as this place. Is this, did, does this stuff all accidentally happen or how? what's, what's your plan? <laughs> We want it to be a shopping experience for everyone in, in the neighborhood. We want to serve the community. Right. We want to give them some hope and joy. Um, so that's what our accomplishment is. And, and I see new faces and people that really do enjoy coming in here to shop. And how could they not? You know what I love about this place is you've got all the normal foods that I'm used to, because not that I say that I'm normal, but, <laughs> but you have exotic foods that you don't find anywhere else. Would you mind like taking a couple minutes just to show me some of the more, the things that I'm not familiar with? Sure, I'll that, take you. That would be awesome. But just give me a real quick second, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Sorry, Tammy, I just had to make sure, oh, my, you are. <laughs> make sure my lights, I didn't leave my car lights on. Anyway, um, I've never seen this many peppers or this many varieties of peppers in my life. I, this is I one recognize of the those are really, really hot ones. Yep, those are hot and so are these. These are one of the two hottest ones that we have. Yeah, peppers. Boy, that makes me, uh, makes me, uh, make me think of something I have to do. I'll be right back. Uh, da, 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 yeah. uh, these are pretty nice peppers. I'm gonna try cooking with these. I don't know what it is, but it smells great. Yeah, sorry, Tammy, uh, the sun's still there. I just had to check. Oh, okay. Now, this looks like cactus. Do you, do people actually eat cactus? Yes, they do, and it's delicious. It's delicious? It's delicious. How do you how do you cook this? How would you, you eat this? You boil that, and then after you boil, you have to skin it. Right. And then once you skin it, you just slice it up, and you put it in omelets. Right. Very good for breakfast. One of my favorite ways is in a salad, a cactus salad, where you add the cilantro and the tomato and the onion, the jalapenos. Oh, I love the way you say cilantro. And Mexican cheese is in there, and cucumber, and you just use a tortilla chip, and right. just eat it. Ah, just eat it. Yes, I can do that. Oh, what's this exotic fruit here? That is an apple. Manzana. Hey, how about that? I learned a new word today. But more importantly, I learned that not only can you find good groceries in Detroit, you can find great groceries in Detroit. And great people too, but hey, I already knew that. But this is our home, really. We treat it like our home. And our home is your home, so. Thanks, I'm part owner. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> well, like all things, our great time at the Honey Bee had to come to an end eventually, but uh, not before one last trip to the guacamole bar. Don't!